Welcome to Celebrity Psychic Medium, Tony Green. I am Tony Green, and I am here to answer your questions about life, love, career, finances, and um, help you connect with loved ones on the other side. Yep, that's it. That's all I'm here for. So if you have a question, you would like to call in, you would like to talk, the number is um, 845-277-9131. And if you are watching on YouTube right now, if you're with me on YouTube right now, please uh, put your chat in the chat box so hey everybody on youtube we have fawn we have mo we have heather thanks for joining me you guys so wonderful to see you here so happy that you're joining me okay just a couple quick uh things i will never reach out to you um i will never email you i don't return half of the emails i get that i'm supposed to return folks i don't do it I know. I should, I don't return most of the voicemails I get, but in my defense, they're kind of spam and from, you know, people I don't know. Well, you know what I mean. They're mostly spam and solicitation. But, you know, I just, I'm not that type of person that's going to reach out and be like, hey, you need a reading. If somebody wants a reading, they reach out to me. They connect with me through my website. I only have one website. You connect with me and we schedule the reading. I do it over the phone or in person. I do not email you a reading. We actually talk on the phone person to person or we are face to face. Um, so please do not get scammed. Do not lose your money on someone who is um, not giving you a real reading. Okay. Having said that, I want to say, hey, Stevie, I hope you're having a good day. And I want to go into the show part of the show. Yeah. Whatever that means, right? <laughs> so I'm going to take the first caller. When I say your area code, please tell me um your name and where you are calling from and then uh you can uh, ask a question or connect with a loved one if you want to connect with a loved one i just need the first name of your loved one and their relationship to you and here we go i'm gonna go to 386 386 what's your name where are you calling from Hello. All righty. I'll go back to 386 later. Obviously, 386 is preoccupied with something. 514, what's your name? Where are you calling from? Hi, Tony. It's Genevieve from Canada. Mm. How are you today? Good, Genevieve. How are you? How are you? I'm very good, very good. I'm wow, I'm actually surprised that I got in, but thank you so much for taking my call before the holiday. Absolutely, my pleasure. You know, this morning, I don't know if something's going on with um, the call log, but I, even I couldn't get on until the last minute. So if people did try, they should try back again. Um, but yeah, I'm so happy you got on. I always say those who are supposed to be here are here. So yes. Genevieve, what's going on? Well, everything is uh, going as per se. You know, there's the uh, the typical life of up and down, but we try to always keep in line with our beautiful source or, you know, so that we are always on top. Um, I have, and my question today was, um, gee, I'm debating because my spouse brought in something that finances are for him just turning around and of course he's asking additional cash for rent so it, it, that is squeezing me but I don't want to necessarily ask anything about necessarily money because I would love to know what truly wants uh, what source really wants to tell me um, they keep sending me this morning with it was very sage in my meditation so 
uh, either I was not fully aligned to a uh, number 10 or um, I don't know what it was, but I couldn't grasp everything that you were telling me. So, yeah, what is source wanting to tell me, good or bad? I want to hear it. Okay. Um, th well, okay. I'm just going to, you know, Genevieve, this might not be... Um... I'm just going to tell you the first word I hear is prioritize. You need to prioritize. And in the beginning of your message, you were breaking in and out a little bit. And here's what oh. source is saying, but it, it's okay that you were, because I think they know what you said. And I'm just going to tell you what they are saying and you get to make decisions based on this, okay? So one of the okay. things that's coming through, and please, um, again, we know how this works. I'm not the boss of anybody. I, I'm not in control of you or anybody else. You get to make your decisions. But in the course of making your decisions, in the course, of choosing what's best, what you want in your life and making your choices in your life, please consider all areas of your life. Please don't just only look at, um, okay, one area of your life, like don't look at your life like it's a pie and you're looking at each piece individually. Look at the whole pie all together. And this goes into the next part of what they want to say is um, it, it's a, I think it's about your personal life along with your professional life and saying, are you are is this making you or putting you where you want to be and making you happy? So if you look at all the aspects of this. um. A, do you feel like, or not do you feel like, are you happy? Are you content? Do you feel uh, a sense of peace? Do you feel uh, progress? Do you feel like all the different things? And then uh, one of the other things that they would ask you when it comes to this situation or any situation, whether it be work, relationship, home, or all of the above, is, is it what you want? If you were starting over again, oh my gosh, this is a really good question. <laughs> if you were starting over again and you knew what you know now, would you still proceed? And if the answer is no, and you can't, and you can't change, what you want to change, then the only thing left to change is you. Oh my gosh. This is, <laughs> I think a lot of people might be having light bulb moments right now. <laughs> I might be one of them. <laughs> so if you, <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. If you <clears throat> were starting over with the job, with the person with the whatever it is and you knew it was going to be here this was going to be the situation would you have jumped in and started or kept the relationship going the work going the whatever going and if not can you change the things that are questionable to you or that are not where you want them to be, the things you don't want? Do you have any power to change them? And if not, the only thing then you can change is you, either your acceptance and um, being at peace with the things or uh, moving into a new situation that will be better for you, happier for you, more enlightening for you, whether it, again, be work, relationship, whatever it is. So they want you to look at that and they want you to understand 
if it if you have all the pieces of the puzzle put together and it's not the puzzle you want, start a new puzzle. That's the way they're saying it. That's just the way they're saying it. And I 100% get what they're saying. I understand why they're saying it. I I can see it in situations I've been in. And this is why, folks, this is why when somebody's calling and asking about a person and they say, go slow, this is why. Because, because there are things we cannot know in the first week, two weeks, month, three months, even with a job, it's the same thing. There are things we, we want, will not know until we're, we're, you know, knee deep in it. But the beauty of life, Genevieve, is that we have free will and choice and the power and the ability, if we do so choose, to choose something new. For whatever that means, work-wise, like you can change careers, jobs, companies, whatever it is, at any point, as long as you uh, are aware that you can change, you can bring those, uh, um, like uh, you can work, you have the time to plan. Thank you. You have the time to plan your change. Okay, so Genevieve, that is their message for you. I hope it's helpful. I hope it makes sense for you. And your mom and dad, of course, say happy holidays. And they want you to know that they're going to be with you throughout the holidays. They're going to be helping you. And they're going to be uh, uh, showing you something different over the holidays, whatever that means for you. Okay, love? Okay, thank you. The message makes sense. I, It's kind of confirming in one area the other ones i really don't know but um it's just i want things to happen much faster <laughs> we all do i think you know that's a fair uh, statement i think everybody wants everything to have things happen faster and i just you know i want to say to you and they're saying to you what I want to say to you is what they're saying to you. I want to reiterate what they're saying. Um, uh, uh, prioritize and pay attention to details. And again, if you're not in a situation that you would have chosen, or if you look at a situation and you say, you know, if I could start all over again, this is exactly what I would go for and I wouldn't settle. They want you, then why are you settling now? Then why are you settling now? No, 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 no. Then why are you settling now? Why are you putting up with it now? Why are you choosing? And I know, I get it. I get it, Genevieve. I'm not scolding you. This isn't me. I I don't like being this direct with people. I really don't. But what they're saying is this, and it's so important. And it's it's not only for you. It's for anybody listening whether it's work, relationship, or friend, if this isn't the situation that if you were sitting down right now and writing down, this is, you know, my ideal relationship, work, career, for whatever it is. If it's, if you're not there in the situation you're in, then why are you staying? And here's the more important thing. It doesn't mean you have to jump you have to grab a parachute and jump out of the plane today and, and land in, you know, trees. That's not what they're saying. They're saying make a plan to get to where you want to be because you're only given one life. Don't sacrifice one day, one 24-hour period, one hour in a situation that is overall not where you want to be. And the sooner you get to where you want to be, the sooner you start working on getting where you want to be, the sooner you do that, the sooner everything else in your life will shift and take and take you there. Okay. Whew. That was a strong, that was a really strong energy. For those of you who watch me regularly, I'm normally not that 
Um, that is normally not how direct the messages come across. And I'm like, I could literally feel the whoosh of the energy go when it went. And Genevieve, I hope that messages help. I hope that those messages help you and they make sense to you and they help you to take the action that the loved ones on the other side are asking you to look at and possibly take. That's a lot. I'm going to have to re-listen to all of this because I find it sometimes confusing. I'm following their path and now they're, I don't know. Uh, I'm going to have to re-listen, but thank you so much for the strong message. I guess it, it tells me how strong they are telling me and, whatever I need to hear. And here's the thing, um, Genevieve, you might be thinking of one area of your life, and this might actually be for a different area of your life. So on on a couple of different sheets of paper, maybe write down for each area of your life how you would want it to be, and then you'll figure out what area they're talking about. Okay, love? There's, thank you. There's only two. There's the love and there's the psychic abilities where it's going to lead me to another world I mean, this is going to be awesome but right now it's in, I'm in between I'm in between for everything so but okay thank you I know you got to take some more calls but thank you so 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 much for the beautiful messages and I'm happy also to know that you are doing well with the concussion and I am blessed to have you in my life and I want to thank you and if I don't get to speak to you in voice I want to wish you happy future holidays. Oh, my goodness. Thank you so much. And um, thank you for the uh, happy holidays. Happy holidays back to you. And I think it's going to hit you a little later on um, what they're talking about. Um, and I know that you will. Um, and I know that it will hit you. They're saying it's good. You're, it's going to be like a light bulb comes on for you. OK, love? Okay, thank you, thank you. Thank you, you so much. You are so, so welcome. So, okay, so here's a thing. Um, 708, you are next. I want to say hi to Lolly, Patrick, um, Heather, um, and uh, Miss Jules. Hey, hey, everybody. Um, here's the thing. Sometimes when people call in, this is why I always say to you, have an exact question available because sometimes when people call in and they ask, give me whatever in this moment, you might not understand what they're saying. And part of the reason for that is this is something that's probably coming into your future. I think I just saw lightning outside either that or God is saying you are spot on babe. Um, so, um, uh, yes. Okay. So either this is something that's going to be coming in very soon, or it's something that you are needing to look at that you're not looking at, but sometimes, and I'm going to say this to everybody listening, when you call in and say, tell me what they want me to know, they're going to tell you the thing that you need the most and you're not going to like it all the time. Listen, when they tell me the thing I need the most, like I wish I could put in earplugs, but you know, the voices don't whisper to me. They're literally in my head. <laughs> um, so I've learned to ask very specific questions even for myself. <laughs> yes. But what I do want to say is once we get the message and again on the show, I don't put everybody's business in the streets, so to say, I will try to give the message without being really exact. Um, because eventually, you'll get what the message is about. Eventually, you'll understand, oh, this is what they're talking about. Um, so I just want to say that and please have a, a question or a connection ready if you don't want a really um, a message like that, because that's that's not always the easiest message to receive for people. Um, but Genevieve, I do feel like a lot of times people also are waiting 
like let's just say the, like you mentioned the psychic abilities um don't wait for the okay to do a b or c just freaking do it just freaking start just get on it excuse me just get on it just go just do it you don't have to have permission to start the business um and and do it whatever way you want to do it you, you don't just do it take the steps and do it there's no certificate that says you're ready for this you just start and you go and you you run with it and you allow yourself to be in that energy that takes you to the next step and that's all you can do um and uh, to the extent you believe, it will be. And that, that just came through from the other side. Okay, I am definitely going to go to 708. 708, what's your name? Where are you calling from? Barbara, Illinois. I'm sorry? My name is Barbara. I'm from Illinois. Okay, Barbara, thank you so much for repeating that. How can I help you today? After what you just said to this first lady, <laughs> and I only got into part of the um, um, the reading there, I think I'm going to go with family. <laughs> oh, my God. No, don't be afraid. <laughs> don't be afraid. Okay, so listen, 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 listen. I mean, listen. If you I have an exact... In, in her reading for me. Oh, so my I am oh you already there. because of that answer you already got you already received some of your answers my goal first and foremost is not to scar anybody not to scare them or scar them so we're not here to scar people um we just be laying it down like bricks i'm just saying um i'm sorry if yeah. um don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. It you wasn't can, scary. You can, no, I, I know about looking at it for what it is. Yeah, and you know what? Isn't that always the case? Like, we get in something and then we use the word love. And I'm going to say the word love. Whether it's whether it's work. And, and I can, you can give me work, friendship, or relationship. And, you know, we're afraid. We're, the, the truth of the matter is we might just be afraid to move on because either A, we think, you know, it, it, is there anything better out there or B, um, or B, um, I'll end up in the same situation or, you know, what whatever it is. So we do tend to uh, get in that space. But if we really realize what we want and we don't, you know, really, um, I don't want to use the word settle, but we move towards that vigilantly. I do believe we will get it. Okay, love, where do you want to go with this, Barbara? Tell me, how can I help you today? Well, can I connect with uh, family? Um, mother, father, Let's start, uh, grandmother. Let's start with your mom. Their spiritual guidance to me. Oh, excellent, excellent. What's your mom's first name, love? Cal. Okay, like C A L or C. Yep. Cal. Okay, thank you. I just like to be respectful and have something to refer to them as. Okay, so she walks in, and next to her is a fuller man. This could be. Your father, this could be her father. He's right on the right side of her. And the way he's presenting at whomever the man is that she walked in. And there are other people, but I'm just going to focus in on her um, right now. And this man she walked in with. At one point, he had a bit of a belly. And that is the way um, I'm going to describe him. But the more important thing, and he has an That's old my father. Oh, good. And he has, yes. Okay, yes. And he's showing me, his next thing was to show me that he had more of an oval face. So um, here we go. They're both here. And no matter who's speaking, the message would be the same. Now, do you have a specific question 
for either of them before I get started, love? <clears throat> oh, my. I don't, I'm just kind of, I don't know, I'm kind of, um, Okay, um, so then let me get started. Um, I'm just going to say the first thing they're saying, and this should be more of a confirmation than a message. They're singing a song to me, and it's that song, Happy Holidays. I can't even sing it on beat. I'm sorry. Um, but that's the song that comes through first, and then I'm dreaming of a like a white Christmas. I don't know if one or both of them like Christmas music or those songs in particular, or didn't like those songs, that could be the confirmation also. They're also showing me um, like cookies that look like sugar cookies, but with frosting and sprinkles on them. And maybe that's just because it's this time of the year. And that is, you know, whether you make them, they made them, whatever it is, they're just showing me those cookies. And it doesn't have to be those cookies spe specifically. That's just what they're coming through with. Now, I am going to tell you one of the things that they want to say to you is um, you're doing um, the way that your, I think it's your mom is speaking and um, what she is saying is um, you're right on track. You're right on track. So whatever you're doing and wherever your life is, you're right on track. You're, you know, of course, of course, you know, there's, I should, I could be doing this better. I should, you know, we all feel like we should be further along or I could do this. I could do that. What, whatever it is. The biggest message that she wants to say to you is you're right on track. Um, anything it's, it's, um, Anything you do from here is um, not Escalade. That's, I believe, a car. Accolades. Accolades. Um, it's like you're you're doing good. It's it's a cherry on top. It's the the way to move it to ha to do more. Um, don't um, worry about what coulda, shoulda, woulda. Don't worry about that. In February, everything is going to come in and you're going to understand things from a like a bigger vision, a bigger... In February, in February, you're going to be able to see things from a higher perspective, okay? So... Um, mm -hmm. you're, you're right on track in February. If you do have questions, what it could have, should I, or, you know, should I do this or that in February, just hold off, you know, in February, you will have that higher perspective, that bigger picture look that they're calling it that panorama look at things to help you decide your next move in February. Thank you so much and I love you all.